Here's a couple things that can make your coins valuable. Here is a very noticeable error coin. This is a 1981 Jefferson nickel that has a clipped error. You can see that uh, the coin has been struck off center there as well. Now this coin here sold on eBay for over $150. And keep in mind, this coin has not been graded by a coin grading company or anything either. Speaking of off-center, now this coin is probably not worth getting graded for the price that it actually sold for. It only sold for around $12, but it has been struck 45% off-center. And you can see that there clearly in the image display. This coin did sell on eBay as well, and it has been graded by Annex. Now if we look at a 1981D mint mark, this nickel here is graded by PCGS at a mint state 66 with full steps. So if you're not familiar with full steps, here's an image, you can pause the screen and it kind of explains what full steps is. As a matter of fact, I'm going to post a video that really goes into depth and explains full steps. I'm going to post it on my community tab, so be watching out for that video. Now, this coin here, because of the high grade, because of the full steps, sold for over $250. Now for the 1981P, this is the high graded version. No types of errors on the coin. It's graded at a mint state 66. And again, this one does have full steps as well. So basically the coin grading company, they consider five full steps out of six steps, full steps. So five out of six steps, if you have five out of six steps, those are considered full steps. However, there are other things that could uh, keep you from having those five full steps. So I will put that video on my community tab here very soon. Now this coin here sold for over $3,700. All right, so for the 1981 proof nickel, Jefferson nickel, this is going to be the S mint mark. Now there are two different types, a type one and a type two. So here's the version of the type one S mint mark, and here is the type two version of the S mint mark. So always keep that in mind, there are two different types. First off, here's a 1981 type one. Now this coin sold for over $1,900 and that is because it is graded at a proof 70 deep cameo. So this coin has a perfect grade. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70, so 70 is a perfect coin, and that's why this coin is valuable. If we look at a 1981S Type 2, again, this one is valuable because of that perfect grade as well. Now, this nickel here sold for over $2,500. And then here is an error nickel from 1981. It's got a shattered obverse die, which we could clearly see here in the image displayed. Not much going on there on the reverse, but the front of the coin, you could clearly see that error. Now this nickel here sold for over $400. Don't forget to subscribe in the middle, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.